Right, so leading on from my uh, Android 4 noobs, uh, I'm actually going to do an uh, Android for advanced users section. I do have a brew, 500 mils of tea get, come at me. And what we're basically going to do is I'm going to run off a few apps that basically I recommend you use as an advanced user. There's a lot more apps that uh, that I won't mention, which actually I think I might possibly turn this into a little bit of a, like a, a segment, a weekly segment maybe. List of apps you should be using and downloading. And go from there because there's some really, really sweet apps I can't really cover all in one. So, the first thing, if you're an advanced user and you've been using Android for a while, perhaps you haven't heard of these apps, um, and perhaps you just want to install them, or perhaps like you're a little bit of a geek like me, and you want to use them for your work, or whatever. So the first one is Nova Settings. Now Nova Settings basically is an overlay for the stock Android home screen, um, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to do custom grids, and do lots of really, really funky things um, that the stock Android uh, home screen doesn't and also things like the OEM versions don't either so Samsung's HTC's and Sony's uh, stock home screen uh, thing doesn't quite work as well so Nova gives you a lot of customization uh, it is free you can pay for it as well um, I'll put the link in the description below where you can get it and all the other apps I feature in this um, really really sweet app really really worth going and getting so next I'm, I'm going to mention three all at once because they're all kind of related to each other networking apps um, so say you maybe work in IT or maybe you don't work in IT, maybe you work you just work at home or you are at home and you want to try and find out the best channel for your Wi-Fi, um, yeah, for your wireless to be on. Um, so whether or not that's 1, 6 or 11, if it's on any other thing, you should be shot in the face with a 12 bore um, because you should only ever use 1, 6 and 11. Anything else, you interfere with other people's wireless. Uh, but anyway... Um, Two apps for that are Insider, so in S S I D E R, um, which is brilliant and fantastic, great. You can get it on Windows as well. It's really, really great. It's fantastic for. Um, you can use it with Y Spy, and it can do some really, really funky things in terms of uh, uh, radio signal and things, and it's really, really funky. But the and the other one is Wi-Fi Analyzer. Wi-Fi Analyzer does a similar sort of job. Kind of like the older version of Insider. Insider came along quite recently. Uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer has been around for ages now. Um, it's moved along quite a bit, but Insider is better than Wi-Fi Analyzer. They kind of they do the same sort of thing, but for me, I think Insider is better. Check out both, uh, see what you think, and then choose your favorite from there. Um, and the other one is Fing. Fing basically scans your network and lists every single device that's there. It does it allows you to do ping as well, so you can ping the network. You can do wake on LAN as well, which is fantastic. Um, you can scan it for services and things like this. It can be a little bit of a nightmare for security people within an IT environment, so don't go running it on your um, don't go running it on your corporate network if you work in like a corporate environment, because chances are you probably might get picked up for it um, if they're running um, packet detection and stuff like that. They might find out that you're actually using this uh, app to spawn the entire network. Um, but there's nothing malicious in it, to be fair. There's not really much you can really do about it. You can... I mean, if the person that's running the corporate IT doesn't know security well, then obviously it's their own stupid fault if there's a server there that they don't want you to see. Um, so that's that. Um, the next app you should be using is MySMS. Now, MySMS, I've only recently heard about from the guy that uh, runs Modico, Paul, somebody or other. Uh, I can't remember what the hell his name is. Um, but anyway, uh, the guy that run, runs Modico originally introduced me to this, and it's MySMS. MySMS basically is a messaging app with a bit of a difference. Unlike things like Hand, hand Sent, uh, Hand Sent or Hand Set, I can't remember anyway, and a few other like uh, SMS apps. This one actually syncs to the cloud. So what it allows you to do is um, it syncs all your messages to the cloud. Um, and so if your phone was lost or stolen or perhaps you were reinstalling your ROM or something like that, um, it allows you to download your messages again, keeps them backed up, keeps them nice and so that you don't have to worry about keeping them backed up manually, which is really, really great. It also allows you to send text from the cloud as well. So assuming your phone is connected to the internet, all you need to do is log into your browser, mysms.com, and you can send text from from the browser, and then it will send it through your phone, which is really, really great. It means you don't then have to play around with uh, doing it on your phone. And if you're at a keyboard and mouse and stuff, it's a lot, lot easier and a lot, lot better. The second app, uh, which kind of relates to that a little bit, is AirDroid. AirDroid. If you've not even heard of AirDroid, AirDroid is fucking amazing. It allows you to manage your phone remotely, wirelessly uh, via your local network or in the cloud. Now, basically, what you do is you install AirDroid, you log in either via an Android account uh, or via the uh, your Google account, your Facebook account, your Twitter account, and it then connects to um, the cloud, and then you can then go to web.android.com, 
log in either using the credentials you used for your uh, with your phone, or you can actually just log in using a QR code. Um, and then if you're connected, if, it, if the phone's on the same network you're on, it'll connect to your local network, your super fast speeds, uh, because it's all local, it's not going to the cloud. If you aren't connected to the local network, you can go to the cloud and you can control your phone through that, which is really, really great. Before you only, you could only do it locally, you couldn't do it via um, the cloud and via the internet, you had to do it locally via your own network. Um, it allow, basically allows you to um, control files, you can upload, download files, uh, manage your file system through there, which is really great. It allows you to access your contacts, it allows you to send texts, it allows you to remotely operate the camera, it allows you to save screenshots, it allows you to install custom APKs, it allows you to uninstall apps. Really, really great um, tool to be able to use. It's really, really fantastic and um, definitely worth using um, if you're, a, if you, especially if you're an advanced user, does some really, really funky, funky stuff. Um, and it all means you then don't have to use your fingers and get RSI or whack a scramp when you're using your phone to do a lot of the everyday stuff you do with Android. Another, the other app you need to be looking at is Terminal, terminal Emulator. So uh, there's some stuff maybe you want to do within Android which you can't do unless you go into a terminal. Um, for instance, oh, I'm just trying to think what you might want to do through terminal that you can't necessarily do. Maybe you want to do some uh, maybe hacking stuff that you can only do through um, through the terminal. Maybe you want to be do some uh, IF config stuff maybe. Um, uh, maybe you just want to dump the IP and reassign an IP to it. I don't know, whatever you want to use Terminal for, that you use Terminal within Linux for. Get Terminal Emulator, that solves a lot of problems. If you just want to use uh, Terminal for it, I'm just trying to think what I've used Terminal for in the past. I've used Terminal for something in the past, perhaps installing a custom app that didn't want to install via the APK. Um, yeah, so Terminal Emulator is fucking amazing for that, actually. And the last one, which you should already be using anyway, advanced user, noob user, anything. Pocket. Pocket is fucking amazing. It used to be called Read It Later. It's now called Pocket. I've done a, already done a video on it ages and ages and ages ago, which you can check out. Ha. Um, but basically, Pocket allows you to um, save something to read it later, which is what the old product was called. So say you, you've seen something on Twitter, uh, you're browsing Twitter on your phone, you haven't got time, or you don't really want to uh, sit, look at something on a really small screen. Share it to Pocket. It will save it to Pocket. Um, it will do two things. It will allow you to view that um, article, picture, whatever, um, t well, t tweet, whatever it is, uh, in the on your browser. So you just go to getpocket.com and you can search it all there, which is brilliant. The second thing it will do is it will save it offline. So um, it won't do it with videos, but it will do it with any articles. It do it will do an article view as well for you, so it will get rid of all the shit you don't want, all the adverts and all the other crap you don't really need. Um, and it will save it offline, which is brilliant. So if you've got no 3G or you've got no 2G, it will save it offline. You don't have to worry about it. Really fantastic and great. Um, and it's free. That's the value bonus of it. It's completely and utterly free. No ads, no nothing. Um, and it's definitely worth using because it's just fucking amazing. Uh, use it on any device as well. It means it's synced across all devices. So say you see something on your phone, you want to then see it in the browser. You can see it in your browser. Maybe you want to see it on your tablet or whatever. And it's all synced across and it's all offline and it's fucking amazing. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. It's currently 27 degrees in this room and it's roasting hot. Um, glorious day outside. Uh, apart from that, I shall catch you in a later video.